The topic today, everybody says it in IT. Everyone, even electrical. They all say, label your cables. Have it be a patch panel, a power cable, fiber cable, or a shielded Cat6 cable. Everybody says, label it. Even if it's just a number so you can identify it on one end or the other. Today's video, we're going to use the PX900, but it's actually an LWPX900, my now favorite labeler that I've been using for a while, thanks to Newman Marking Solutions to sending me this and these cartridges. I've been out in the field using this and labeling, labeling routers with the yellow tape, but in today's video, we... I, you, are going to go and like and subscribe to the video, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this labeler and these, what did I bring out? Oh, I brought some heat shrink one out too, didn't I? Black on white, oh no, this one's nylon cloth, not heat shrink. I thought it was the heat shrink one, but it's not. But I bought these two out, the one inch and one and a half inch Right, cable wrap self laminating cable wraps. It's a tongue twister. Now, there is one thing I really like about this unit that no other unit has. The other day, on that rack, I was labeling something and I went like this. And I left it there. And then I continued labeling my label or cables. I was using, I think it was the one inch. Inside that rack, there's been some progress, maybe. I don't know if you could see and notice. Some cables are missing, some were still there. I've been cleaning up this rack and I'm gonna make a video on using the PX900, labeling those in the back, because even inside the rack is just as important as outside the rack. Because if you take the side off of it, you need to see stuff. And where I got this idea was, is I was plugging something into my rack and I didn't label it, bad, and I pulled out the wrong cable. Would you believe it? I unplugged the wrong switch and everything went down. Ugh. So labeling inside the rack is just as important as labeling outside the rack. So this unit with good magnets, I'm going to show you how to wrap labels on these fiber cables because soon, and this Cat6 cable, very soon, I'm going to be putting these outside and I need to mark them so that way I can know which direction they go in because I have a coupler that's going to go on one of these and I need to make sure that I put it on the right side. So I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you me making some labels and then putting them on here. Now there's a way we put them on there properly. I think it's kind of backwards or it's forwards. But when you put the label on there, you want to put the label on first and I think you wrap it around, depending on which direction you have it. You want to make it so the label goes around the writing so it protects it. And I'm going to say this right now. These things are very sticky because I put one on here the other day just playing around and it wasn't really that easy to get off, which is good because you don't want them to come off because these are outdoor uh, rated cables and they're gonna get wet. So maybe that's another test. We're gonna see how good these are. So in March, I'm gonna take the cables off the uh, fence and we'll inspect them and we'll see how good the stickers are. So let's switch the camera around and make some uh, labels. So the first thing we need to do is take our cartridge out, Hold it like this and just slide straight up. Make sure you pull this out straight and don't go sideways and all that stuff. We are going to use the one inch 24 millimeter black on white vinyl self laminating cable wrap. The model is 224 VSLPX. Okay, we'll put this in here. When we turn this on, it will ask us some questions. Let's see if I can get some of this in here for us. I just leave it on auto and I push OK. Labels, numbers, yep, 
to clear it out so we have nothing there. We are going to make a couple labels. We're going to put some arrows on here too. So this one, we will put T, oh, we got to go shift. So let's go back to space switch space. And then there's some arrows on here. So we have to go caps lock arrow. And if we print this, Now this one, this cable wrap will not wrap all the way around this one right here, but that's fine because it's going to be protected anyways. It's going to be inside of a case. So what we do is we go here. When I meant, when I was saying that this is going to wrap all the way around, we have to start on one side and a smaller cable, maybe the, um, we'll make two of these. I'll put this one on here, but on this piece right here, we won't. So what we do is we take the back side, we bend it, pull it off. We could put this on here like this. Okay. We'll just push this on. Now, if this piece was smaller diameter like this one, we could wrap this all the way around. And what I mean by wrap around is it will wrap around and overlap this writing right here and protect it. For this, it won't work, but it's okay because it's going inside of a case. So we'll go like this, wrap it on there, and now we have our label. Let's make another one though, and we'll put it on the fiber end and it will wrap around this. So we'll make another. Okay, so now there's a proper way of doing this. And I'll show you again here. So we'll take off the one side. Okay, we'll put this on here. Oh, there's a little piece there. I forgot there's a little cutting piece. Oh, I took off that, but that's fine. It's all good. So as you can see, this is on here. And what we want to do is we want to wrap this this direction. Now, this changes depending on which way you go. So you want to make sure you want to wrap the right direction. This one is over, as we can see. And go all the way over, keep going. And this now has overlapped this piece right here. This is now overlapped. So we'll do another one. So we'll go this cable now, but it's going to be upside down. So we want to make our, our label on a different direction. So we're going to go to access point, but we're going to delete the arrow here. And then what we have to do is we have to go over with our arrow here and put the little symbol for arrow wrong direction here. So we go here, there's our arrow space. Okay. Then we'll print this. I think I might have it cutting. Yeah. I have a little, I haven't turned off the um, little pull clip right here. There's a little tiny piece right there that it's auto cutting. I'll turn that off later. So on this one, now we have to see it wrap, wrap this direction, right? See how this these two directions change, right? So the same thing, we want to pull the bottom off or the top, if you want to call it that, put it on here like this. Okay. And just as we go around on here, you'll see if we push up just a little bit, the backside slides off keeping our fingers away from there to keep it so we don't get sticky stuff on there. And as we roll it around, it will protect it. Okay, let's do it one more time. Print, perfect. Okay, so we got our second one here now. And like I said, begin the other one, this one's not gonna go all the way around, but at least it's there. Okay. Make sure that we got it on the same one. Go here. And I got to go into the software and turn off this little piece at the very end here. I just haven't done it. My bad. Okay. Put this on here. It's hard to do this when you're looking at the camera at the same time. So bear with me here. 
and we'll push it down and there we go nice and clean now this cable is labeled we got power fibers easy peasy i'm going to switch this out and do a one inch one and see here so we'll move this cable now we have the inch and a half 236 VSLPX, and I am looking through the camera, so that's hard to see. But that's the tape we're going to put in there at an inch and a half. Now let's try a different one. Auto set. Okay. Labels number. Okay. Now let's change what we're going to write. So let's go to rack space print. Spin this around. There we go. So now what I should have done is put this one on the other cable there because it's a little bit wider, but that's okay. So this one will go all the way around this cable a bunch of times. And if I wanted to, I could put this cable wrap on the actual cable. Nah, we'll just leave it on this one right here. So we're going to go this side. See how I mean different directions? So when we put the arrows on there, we have to make sure that we're wrapping it the right direction because we don't want to put this on here and go this direction like this. We want to go the same direction. So let's try this and we'll push it around. This one's going to go around a little bit more on this, a little bit deeper, a little bit thicker because it's an inch and a half, right? Bigger cable. There we go. Look at that. Nice. It's got the arrow on there and it says two rack. This one's going to be a little bit tougher, so I'm not going to put one on there because it's just going to go around and this cable is way too skinny. But we could do this one right here. So we'll go on our thing here and we'll go over, 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 delete, and then we'll go back over again, space, shift, arrow. oh, this one, arrow. And we'll go print. There we go. And we'll put this one on here now. We have to spin this around now. Okay. Nice and easy. Spin it around. Pull the adhesive off and wrapped around. Perfect. Easy peasy. Now, I still have to look into why this is cutting right here. It's probably a setting that I turned on for the other tapes I was using, but that's fine. This is now a labeled cable. As you can see, very easy device to use. Just got to get used to using it and remembering that this sticks to rack shelves when you're doing racking or if you're doing electrical panels works very well for that ask me how i know the kitchen garburetor got a label and i put that on the side there and i left it there for a day and the wife was like what is this she almost stole it from me don't want that anyways very easy label two cables in here these stickers stick very very well and uh i think i'm gonna probably order some more because I'm going to start going through these lots because I'm going to be doing some more fiber termination stuff. And I'm going to see if I can get some colored heat shrink stuff because I'm going to be doing more fiber stuff and I want to be able to label and colorize my fiber cable. So hopefully it helps. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. You can get these cartridges, those cartridges and that device from Newman Marking Solutions website. I will put all the links down below. And thank you to them for sending me this device. It works very, very, very well. And uh, we'll go from there. Like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned. See you guys later.